Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today is Thursday and the boys are actually off of school today. They are your train. Or is it in your ambulance maybe? Yeah, you gotta dump all that out. You should be in the bottom there maybe. Um, the boys are actually off starting today for about a week and a half. Yesterday was Passover and we did a very small gathering at Harris's mom's house to celebrate that. And so now they have off for like a week and a half from school. And so I thought I would vlog today and give you guys a day in our life. I wouldn't say we have like a crazy busy day. But there are some things going on today that I thought would make for a good video. Plus the boys are home so you guys get to see like a full day with the boys instead of me vlogging while they are at school. So the one big thing that we have going on today is actually another ENT appointment. This is going to be Jack's first follow-up appointment since he just finished his like third round of antibiotics basically. But the first round that the ENT prescribed, 10 days of septinier. Yesterday was his 10th day on that. So today we have to go back to the ENT so that they can check his ear and see if it has improved any, if at all. Um, and then if it did, we'll kind of discuss next steps on like prevention. If it didn't, we'll discuss next steps to continue to try and get this ear infection to clear up. If you guys are familiar with this whole big saga, including my footage and videos from when we were in Florida when this basically started, I thought that Jack had an amoxicillin allergy. And so for basically the last month, he's been prescribed antibiotics that aren't as strong as doctors would like for them to be, including amoxicillin and augmented to get rid of this very long ear infection that he has. Um, but we actually went to an allergist. I didn't wind up vlogging any of that and i don't think i ever updated you guys on any of that either but we actually wound up going to an allergist sometime last week what we do yeah he's letting you have it okay take a turn um i think sometime last week and when we were in florida and jack was breaking out in his hives i documented the whole thing and took pictures basically every single day and so I had a really great photo diary of the hives he was experiencing, the timeline of the hives, before the amoxicillin, when he took the amoxicillin, after the amoxicillin, all of that information I brought to the allergist and gave to them. And the allergist said, basically, he doesn't think it was ever an amoxicillin allergy. It was just a matter of timing that he was breaking out in hives and taking the amoxicillin. Um, amoxicillin allergies look very different than what he was experiencing. So Jack actually never did the three hour amoxicillin allergy test that I thought he was going to have to do. Um, the doctor basically just wrote off, you know, the hives and the amoxicillin allergy was, was just like a matter of timing. So with that information now, when we go to the ENT, if his ear infection is not cleared up, I think they're going to prescribe him Augmentin, which is a much stronger antibiotic to help clear up his like month long ear infection now. He got it on March 1st and it is now April 6th. And Ben is actually going to come with us today since he wants to just compare the two, even though they are not identical or so we think. Um, it's just good to compare siblings. Um, sometimes this kind of thing could be genetic. Like I had my adenoids taken out and tubes put in my ears. So sometimes it is a matter of genetics. Um, I think he just wants to look at Ben and compare him to what Jack looks like. So long drawn out introduction. The one main thing we have going on today is an ENT appointment that I have to take both boys to midday today. And aside from that, there are some things that I want to get done around the house, including washing our sheets and the boys sheets and i think that's it for laundry so for now we just ran to starbucks harris just does have work today um but i had no coffee in the house so i took the boys super quick before harris left for work and ran and got starbucks for us and then brought it home and he left for work so i have my coffee there i'm going to sit and enjoy that for a little bit and then i will jump back on when it's time for me to start my chores okay it's about that time that i have to clip the boys nails i probably do it every other week i would say um right now they're pretty long and they've been neglected i can't remember the last time i clipped them and whenever i do clip their nails i bribe them with coins for their piggy bank their piggy banks are actually getting pretty full because every time i get loose change or even dollar bills 
I put it to the side and then whenever I have to clip their nails, I tell them they can get coins for their piggy banks and they're slowly collecting a lot of money for their piggy banks. So this has helped a lot. They used to fight me a lot on clipping their nails and ever since I started doing this probably about a year ago, they let me clip their nails. So I have their coins set aside right here. I'm going to clip their nails and then I'll give them their money to put in their piggy bank. Coins for Vanny. Coins for Jackie. All right, let's go put them in our piggy bank. Let's get them in the bank. Can you put that down there? Put it on the floor for you. Got it, baby? Put your coins in. We're rich. <laughs> Let me see you do, Benny. For your birthday next year, we'll open it up and you could cash in all the coins you have. Good idea? Shake it, how much? Wow. It's a lot of coins. Okay, put it back for your birthday next year. Okay, while we're up here now, I'm going to strip Harris and I's bed. I want to put our second pair of sheets on our bed and wash our main pair of sheets since my mom and sister are coming into town next week and they asked if they could stay in our room. So I want to have the main pair of sheets cleaned so that on Wednesday after Harris and I wake up in the morning, I can put the main pair of sheets on the bed and I also will wash the duvet on Wednesday while we're at the airport. Um, or like picking them up from the airport so that later on that night they have a fresh duvet and fresh sheets so that they can sleep in our bed. So I want to take off the main pair and put it in the wash machine and put the secondary pair on. And then I also want to do the boys' beds while I'm at it and like doing Harris and I's beds. Yes, I'm going to take the sheets off. So I'm going to do this now. I have all the extra sheets in this closet. It's like the secondary pairs of sheets. Um, we have just a bunch of white pillowcases. We don't have like the main pillowcase that matches the duvet. Um, so that's why um, it's like our secondary pairs of sheets. So I want to put this stuff on and switch everything out. And then for the boys, I have a second pair of sheets in there. I have to sneeze, but I don't have pillowcases. Um, I mean, duvet covers and pillowcases that match. So for now, I'm just going to change their sheets and then leave the pillow and the duvet alone um, while the covers are clearly in the wash. And then I'll put them back on later. Yeah, they aren't taking a nap today since we will be at the doctor, so it'll be fine that their duvet cover and their pillowcases aren't on their beds until later. Um, if any of this makes sense or even if you care about this at all. So I'm over explaining. Let me just go ahead and strip beds and change sheets. beds are stripped and they're playing on their mattresses every few times that i strip the boys beds i actually go ahead and try and tighten the like frame part to their bed because it gets very loose because the boys go crazy in their beds and are still very rough in their beds so i need to find the allen key so i can try and do that and then i'm going to put their sheets back on and put everything back in their beds and throw the laundry in. So I probably should also, I literally just vacuumed last week or like not even on Sunday. What's today? Thursday. And there's already so much like dust and everything under their bed. So I'll probably also grab the vacuum and do that. Um, 
and then get the laundry in. Okay, I just spent the last little bit creating this um, schedule for the boys for my mom and sister while they are staying here watching the boys. It might be empty, baby. Let me say. I think it's empty. Empty. Hold on, look, empty. The boys just went ahead and had some lunch. I quickly threw myself together just some turkey roll-ups and American cheese so that I can eat something. And while I'm eating this, I am going to pack the diaper bag with some snacks so that that is ready to go. We need to leave the house in about an hour. So I need to eat, pack the diaper bag, and get us dressed in one hour, which is a lot of time. I'm usually good about getting us out of the door, so I'm not too concerned, but that is what I'm going to do right now. You pick out your shirt. What uh, shirt do you want? I pick out that. Blue? No, baby, that's a pajama shirt. Too. I want it. No, you pick out one of these ones. Those ones we wear as pajamas sometimes. These ones are like old ones. Anything in the front. This whole front row. Anything in this front row you can pick. Okay, and then I have gray sweatpants for Benny, blue sweatshirt. Jackie, you have black and gray. Uh, Whichever want... shirt is in the front row, okay? Good pick. Not long sleeve, t-shirts. Any, look at all these ones. You have this blue one, you have this blue one. I want this blue one. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you want, Jack? I don't want it. No, what do you want? Any of these ones in the front. We got black ones, we got white ones, gray, black. I want this one for the baby one. shark to do. All right, let's baby get you dressed. Baby shark to do, baby shark. Come on. Okay, we are all ready to go. I threw on a nice comfy outfit. I also threw my hair up. Go to three garage. No, we're gonna go out the front door, silly. The garage isn't open, it's the heat. Um, I threw my hair up. It's like fourth day hair, which I feel like I've been taking care of my hair so well to where it's not getting super greasy. So, hair's up, sweatshirt. Yes, in one second. Sweatshirt, banty, leggings, Converse. The boys have their little outfits on. It's actually warm today. It's like 60 degrees. So I don't think we're going to do any form of jacket. Um, the parking and the like doctor's office, you walk right in. So I'm going to grab the diaper bag. We actually finished getting ready super early and we're on time. So we're going to head out. Jeez, mommy's car is messy. Hold up, Ben. You're gonna help me clean my car next week before Mimi comes. Before you see. Climb into your seat, please. Yeah, you can put it in the car cup. Climb into your seat. Climb into your seat. No, I'm in your seat. Nine. 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 You, Benny. Jeez, my car is dirty. <laughs> really need to get a car wash before my mom gets into town next week. This one. Stay next to mommy. Hold on. Ooh. <laughs> Wanna hold my pinky? <laughs> Elevator. <laughs> this way, Benny. This way, Benny.
good morning guys it is now the next morning and i wanted to export my video to get it up for you guys but in normal fashion i never finished the vlog what the bug guy <laughs> um, we're getting the tick people out of the spray, huh? finally. Um, but in normal fashion, I never finished the vlog yesterday. I don't know what goes on in my day, but the second half of the day is always so much more exhilarating. And if you're a mom, I know you probably feel that, that like four to six o'clock stretch is always so intense. And especially yesterday, mom, because mom, the boys mom, didn't mom, nap and I didn't really get a break. We got home from the doctor's around 2.30ish maybe. We sat on the couch to watch a movie and from there it was just a steady downhill spiral. So I never jumped on to finish the vlog yesterday, but I wanted to give you guys an update on what the doctor said. So Jack's ears are doing better, but they are going to put him on one more round of antibiotics just to make sure. What? The mirror, yeah just to make sure that it is fully cleared up and i'm so glad i brought ben because i had no idea that he had a double ear infection and he indeed does have a double ear infection and he was complaining of his ear hurting last week and i honestly thought he was doing it for attention because he saw how much attention jack was getting and he was getting to stay home from school and he was getting to take medicine every night i thought he was complaining of ear hurting for attention and so I kept saying, we're going to go to the doctor's next week. We'll get to see, you know, you'll get to come with us then. Nothing's wrong with you. Well, it turns out this entire time for about a week and a half, he's been festering a double ear infection. So both of the boys are getting prescribed medication that I need to go pick up today so that we can hopefully clear up their ear infections. And we will be back to the ENT in another 10 days to check on that. So that's a quick little update on what went down yesterday and the update on the boys. I have no clue what these ear infections are or why they're getting them in the last three months. It's just been ear infection after ear infection and clearly Ben has been feeling the same way and he just expresses it different than Jack. Like Jack's very keen to when his ears hurt and I can tell and he's very expressive of when his ears hurt and clearly Ben, I mean, he tried to express it to me and I didn't believe him and I feel so bad. But he doesn't have like a disruption in sleep like Jack does have when he does have the ear infections like new and super painful. So we will see how this antibiotic, how they react with it and how their ears react with it. And if it's able to get these ear infections to clear up. I'm really hoping that at the end of all of this, both of them don't need to get tubes put in their ears. But even if they do, it's a really quick surgery. It's something that I've had had done, their cousins have had done, friends. I know that they'll be okay. And honestly, it's for the better. They'll stop getting these ear infections but to be determined i will keep you guys updated on how this all plays out i'm going to go ahead and close out today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and with that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye guys do you want to say goodbye to the vlog goodbye 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 vlog <laughs>